Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel and for today's video, I'm going to be opening some new stuff from NYX. I recently have been buying like new stuff, like new arrived stuff from different brands, drugstore brands particularly. I really do want to give you some good advice when it comes to what drugstore products should you get and what has been slain it in the drugstore market. So yeah, if you wanted to see what's inside this box, then just keep on watching. So this is the box from NYX. It's kind of big. I actually don't know if I got a lot or if I got a handful only. From what I can remember, I'm pretty sure that I did have more products that I ordered on the NYX website than the other brands that I went through online. This is how the box looks like. Let's take off this stuff, give it to Akila. That's just, that's all there is. I feel like this video is a trash already, but I'm sorry. I'm gonna make it entertaining for you, okay? The biggest thing that my eyes see is this one right here. This is the micellar water stripped off by NYX. So this one is actually, see this is $7. Like my dog is playing underneath me if you're hearing some noise, some weird noise. That's him, okay? Akila! <sighs> It pushed me to buy one because I was at the NYX store and I do love NYX as a brand. So it says actually that the micell molecules pick up impurities and makeup from the skin. So it's kind of like a toner. But yeah, we'll see about this. Give it a try later. Okay, next thing that my eyes see is this one right here. This is their dual chromatic illuminating powder. And this one is a highlighter. It's actually really small compared to the other highlighters that I have from NYX. Like, it's really small, look at that. I was really intrigued by how this thing worked because I think Kathleen Lights had a white one and it has like a pinky undertone in it. I got this because it says that it has like a gold effect to it instead of orange. This actually cost $8. So let's swatch it and see how... That's not a good swatch. Can you see? I see that gold in there, but... That's me rubbing it really, really hard. I don't know. I'm not really impressed. I don't like to apply highlighter that harsh on my skin. So next is I got some lingerie liquid lipsticks from NYX. The only reason why I went there and checked this out because I saw that they released like a nude lingerie collection. I think there was four shades of that. I don't know if this is from their nude collection, but I think as I started to go over the other shades, I started to fall in love with the other ones compared to the new released ones. So the cashmere silk, I actually love how this thing is so nude. That's not that pigmented at all. It almost looks like it's just like a lip balm. As you swipe more, you're like grabbing the product back. That's actually a really, really pretty color. I grab this one, the exotic, because it looks so good on the picture. This exotic one looks like a deep, nude, reddish. To me, it reminds me a lot of the Lolita one in Kat Von D. I like it, but I don't know about the consistency. Next ones are for the eyes. These are their faux black. I got the black olive and the blackberry eight dollars each oh look at that that's pigmentation there oh look at that that's very creamy and so pigmented okay so the top one is the black olive and the other one is the blackberry so buttery and so pigmented they're so nice i actually bought their next tragile liner kathleen lights always rave about that she always say so so good things about this eyeliner here but but I don't know, it doesn't work for me. It's not even making any pigmentation on my eyes. Next one is I got this Epic Ink Lip Dye. And I got, of course, a red one, the shade Poised. And this one costs $7. Ooh, that's really watery. I like how red it is. Look at that. It's so watery, but it's very pigmented too. Even though it's a dark color, it's not patchy at all. So next ones, I got their Nude Matte Shadow in the shade Make Me Blush and Tantalizing. $4.50 each. This one is in Beyond. Oh, I got three actually. So this one is in the shade Bare It All. It's actually really pigmented and it has like a buttery consistency in it too. But I don't know about the blendability and all. I still have to try these. And I did grab a little bit of powder in there, but not much. It wasn't like powdery and all. And this one right here is like a peach 
eyeshadow and I like peach eyeshadows for transition or crease color it's very pretty for like natural looks and this one right here I got this because it's kind of like the perfect nude pink it's really really pretty I mean I like the color so much I want to have a lipstick like this last but not the least this product actually is like one of the reasons why I went to NYX because I found out about this product and I was like rushing to the NYX website not because I heard somebody talked about it that it was good or anything I really really want to try it so I wanted to try this one this actually cost let's see how much this cost this is $14 and it comes in a small bottle it says that with just a few drops our total control dry foundation delivers sheer to full coverage and a velvety matte finish more drops equals to more coverage look at that that's like water see Ooh. it covered like your imperfection but i feel like my skin sucked the foundation like there's no foundation at all i put a drop there where is it i don't know if i want to say i'm disappointed already i want to try this first in my face and we'll see how this thing goes okay so yeah that was it that was all the products that i got from nyx if you have these products please comment down below um i would love to hear your thoughts about these products especially the foundation and the micellar and the lip tint oh and this one right here too if this one is kind of um been out in the market for a long time already this lingerie liquid lipsticks if you have these please tell me how you think because i was not that impressed with the nude one and yeah but it's dry right now it's not budging hmm impressive okay i'm kind of impressed now but yeah tell me your thoughts about this and i would really love to hear everything about it please click the thumbs up if you did like this video and please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys on my next video bye